Hey everybody, it has been a rough few days, <laughs> but God is faithful. I, I just want to give a testimony because my um, testing for first day was today with the kiddos and God has just moved mightily in their test scores. So I give God praise and glory first of all for that on this triumphant Tuesday. Uh, second of all, I just want to thank God because I'm seeing the faithfulness of God, even when I don't do X, Y, and Z and everything right. God's hand has just been on me for these past few years. And so I'm so grateful and so thankful that he has kept me. And I want to just encourage any woman of God that is going through life and just transition and, you know, whatever you may be going through, that God is is with you you know and as long as you keep your heart pure you walk in forgiveness you walk in love and you maintain a posture of humility i believe that god will bless you and he will honor that and he will you know give you the strength the resources the wisdom and everything else that you need so you know i just want you to be encouraged today i don't have a lot of words to say you know today and you know lastly he just gave me total recall and i just thought about how we know you know when cars have um, a malfunction or not functioning the way they're supposed to function and um the manufacturer sends out these letters for this recall of vehicles, you know, to come back, mm, glory, to come back to its headquarters, okay, which is the original, mm, glory, manufacturer. Mm. And so I hear tonight that, you know, letters are going back, going out for people to return to your original identity. And this is not like one of the words that you shout and you know, but so many times we we move away from our true identity because of life, because the wear and tear of the storms of life. But I want to encourage you today that the manufacturer who is God, who created you, who who, who made you, who even identified you and gave you the, your first identity, he is calling you back to himself. And he's wanting to step you and plant in you everything you need to go about and to do the work of the Lord. So heed to the instructions of the Lord that you will hear, mm, glory to God, you will hear the manufacturer mm, and you will allow the manufacturer mm, to give you the thoughts that are good and not of evil and to give you, hallelujah, clarity, mm, even pertaining to the vision that God has for your life, glory to God. And when you reconnect back with the manufacturer, what he does, glory to God, what he does with, Mm, what is malfunctioning or not uh, 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 able uh, to the to the to the standard for which of that manufacturer and it's after you know it, they bring it back what happens is replaced mm, with something better with something stronger with something with with more death mm, glory to God hallelujah so I'm telling you don't even look don't even look uh, uh, sad or mad when when things don't go the way that you plan. And it seems like, you know, you got to return back to, to God, who is the ultimate creator, to get a download of a new description to help you to walk out in a new way, an a old plan. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because God wants to do a new thing in you. He wants even for some things to be planted in the earth. And so what he has to do is that sometimes he has to get you back into that place where you can really intercede and worship and hear from him again. So he can empower you and plant in you everything you need for this next journey.
Hallelujah. So don't despise what God is doing in your life. Just yield to him. Trust him. Trust the true manufacturer that he knows what's best for you. I love you. Let me pray with you. Father God, I thank you for this word. I thank you that this word today would resonate in someone today, that they'll be reminded on this Tuesday that God, you have not forgotten about them. That God, they are reconnecting with Ayabashaya, the true manufacturer, to get Ayabashaya, oh God, everything that they need to be able to walk out the next in their journey. God, I thank you that what is being replaced is not to break them down and to hurt them, but it is to prepare them. And God is to help propel them into their destiny. So God, I thank you that even as they're being, oh God, rebuilt to oh, glory to God some things are being torn down and taken out and replaced I thank you Lord mm, that we will not reject it but that we will yield to it in the name of Jesus I pray amen and amen help us help us Lord glory to God it's not easy when you got to go back to the manufacturer and get some what some tugging and some replacements done but it's necessary for the making of us so that we can be the true the true church meaning not just a building but our house our our body our flesh is a building hallelujah that will draw others to him i love you all with the love of god i'll be on facebook live tomorrow morning i hope that this word today will encourage you to just let god have his way and let god work through you amen and let god take out whatever's in you and replace it to whatever he wants to give you. I'm reminded today by, as I close, um, the book of Job. And you know, with Job lost everything. He, oh, glory, he lost everything. But what did God do in the end? He replaced everything. And he replaced it mm, with double. But he had to go through something. He had to go through something. But I believe that in his going through it, that God was building him up. His faith was being built up he was being built up so nothing catches God by surprise and nothing that God is doing in your life is not to hurt and make you dead and sick it is to build you up into a new temple for him all right that's it that's it all right enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night I thank you for listening to this video and I pray that you share it with somebody else to remind them that just because right now they're being in a process that that process is not there to break them. That process is there to build them. So let God build you. All right. Love you. Talk to y'all later.